Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on the Dark Souls 3, and we are going to be starting up our Artorias of the Abyss cosplay. Um, I'm pretty excited to do that, so we're going to begin the journey in just one second, but like I said, we're going to kill the two NPCs left. Uh, we also have Andre, who actually respawned. If you kill him, he respawns, so that's kind of weird. We'll kill him again. That hurts! <laughs> this your heart. Does he give souls? Okay, he doesn't give souls. Okay, so here we go. Let's kill her. Oh, vile brute. I'm but a poor old woman. Okay, she doesn't drop you anything. What about the firekeeper? Eyes of a Firekeeper, that's all she dropped. Okay, so those two, they don't really drop, the three of them don't really drop you anything. Let me rest, they all respawn. I don't know how Andre respawned. It's not a big deal, because we're going to New Game Plus. So let's go ahead and go to New Game Plus and start this cosplay. I believe it, we'll probably start with the opening cutscene. Alright, nope, we don't get that start this anymore. We get the spawn at the graveyard. No opening cutscene, that's kind of disappointing. Means you only get to watch that epicness when you start a new character. The hell is up with the thing on my helmet? Alright, Cemetery of Ash. Don't think I'm gonna fight much here, we're just gonna go ahead and just run, actually. Okay, I still one shot these guys. Let me grab the item back here for you. I think it's just a soul. But I'm gonna need souls because I wanna level up this character so I can finish. Ooh, soul of a proud paladin. Okay, so the souls you find now are much bigger. So that's interesting. I think there are souls around here that you can pick up, so we'll, I guess I'll check them out. This is my first time in New Game Plus. Nope. Maybe not. I thought there was one over here. Come here. Is there one up here? I'm not used to fighting with a greatsword, so this is going to take some getting used to for me. Okay, I think we're actually good in this area. Alright, let's head to Ludex Gunnier. Not sure what I'm going to call it. I don't know if I'm going to label each episode, like give it a title. If I'll just... I'll, it, I'll, the episode is called Dark Souls 3, our bit, Artorias of the Abyss. Cosplay, uh, episode one or whatever. Still haven't decided on that. I don't know how much room I have. Cleric Sacred Chime. Go, Titanite Shard. I don't know if I'm gonna fight Dancer early. I might fight Dancer early. Kinda want to. Alright, kill you. And here we go. Let me take. Oops, oh well. I shouldn't need all that for. Let me take my resins off because I can't even use them with this sword. Me. I don't want the torch on my back either. What can I use to put on my back while I'm not doing anything? Let me put on this. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's pull this coiled sword out, and go ahead and fight him. 
I'm interested to see how much damage I can get in right here. Wow, that damage! Am I fat rolling? I think I'm fat rolling. Okay, never mind. I gotta take that talisman off. Really, point, point 0.5 pounds put me overweight. What are you doing? God, that is, was not ready for the shield dash. All right. He should transform here in a second. Yeah. Go. And you're dead. I guess I'll do this for souls. Let's go ahead and put the helmet of avarice on. Give me my souls. There we go, 24,000, not bad. I think I'll do that here for a little while. It's really easy to just switch to that helmet, get the extra souls, and move on. Is there an item here? Is that just... That's just, um... The other fire link, I guess, that you had to. Champion Gundir has a uh, soul there, I think. It's an insignificant uh, item, I think, in the in that area. But let's get going. Uh, I don't know. I know there's not a whole lot of changes from. New game, uh, to New Game Plus for this area, for a lot of the opening areas. Oh, you block. Um, I don't think I need to do too much exploring. I guess I'll go kill the Uchi Katana guy. Because why not? I wanted to use a, a heavy weapon in this game, because it's been so long since I used a heavy weapon in general. Because in Dark Souls... Dark Souls 2, I didn't really use heavy weapons. Most of my weapons that I used were light. Alright, Uji Katana guy, come on. What are you doing? Okay, this is like, this is, oh god. This is even, oh god. This is even easier to kill this guy with a heavy weapon. And you're dead. Did you drop anything special? Nope. Still the same crap. Believe this is an ember up here. I need to grab all the embers I can. Oh, is there a homeward bone out here? Let's see. I think this is a soul? No, it's an ember. And we've got dog. All right, let's head into Firelink. I don't even think I need to talk to anybody here. We might just let that go. So we got Andre. We've got everybody here. I'm just gonna head out because I don't need to talk to anybody. Okay, bonfire lit. Rest up and let's head to the high wall of Lothric. Should be interesting once we get to uh, so like the middle of the game how hard because the opening the bosses aren't going to be too hard. I'm actually not worried. I, I think probably these bosses are set for you to be at like level 80 or low 90s. Um, because I did some extra leveling after I beat the game so I could have the vitality to wear this armor, which actually I'm 0.5 pounds short of because I can't put that talisman on. I think, though, we're going to end up buffing my health up to 50, and then we'll go from there. The endurance soft cap, or the hard cap on endurance is 40, but the hard cap on, um, uh, vigor is 50, so we'll end up going up to 50, I think. And I've got to find the nice, um, beach, er, the nice balance between going back and leveling up every time I beat a boss and just manning up and going to the next boss. 
We're gonna end up running by a lot of enemies, just... We don't need to be fighting all these little enemies here. Okay, I'm gonna go... How did I miss you? Kill you. Okay, I one-shot you with the sword. The sword is plus five. Oh, I didn't get my... What the... There we go. I couldn't lock on for some reason. Binoculars! I don't know why I said binoculars. Binoculars. Yeah, let's drop down here and get the pine resin. Not used to this great sword. What's this? Fire bombs. That's not a way. Down here. Alright, I'm interested to see because they up the uh what souls are on the ground for you. Ow, okay, whatever, screw you, dude. Grab these items. Club. Oh god, I might die. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Yep. Son of a bitch. I didn't think those guys could would hit me that quickly. I was trying to pick up the item instead of trying to avoid the first attacks from and then pick up the item. Not really a big deal. I'll get the... I'll get my souls back and all that stuff. I still one-shot enemies, so... Not too worried. I'm gonna eat a green blossom so I can run over there faster. Alright, I'm gonna pop an ember now. Just to play it safe, because now the dragon will be up there. Wow, that actually didn't restore a whole lot of health. The ember actually doesn't restore. God, you guys. Spamming BS. There we go. Is there an enemy in here? I guess not. Oh, I remember there being an enemy. Okay. I guess I'll kill this mimic chest. Don't really need to, but. Oh, I got hit. Son of a bitch. Come here. What are you doing? No, no, grab. No, oh, I got grabbed. Like one hit away. There we go. I think this is just the stupid axe that I don't even need because I already have one yet. There's a lot of items I'm gonna end up taking that I don't even need anymore because I already got them in my first playthrough. This, this is lot. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Kill that. Come here. Alright, knight. I missed. Uh, that's why I like heavy weapons, though. That stun lock is unreal. I can't do that with my... Or I couldn't do that with, uh, my katanas. I wanted a backstab. I wanted to see what this backstab looked like on this weapon. God, die. What is this? Most of the souls have been upgraded, so I do need to pick up items, because you're going to get a ton of souls from those. I don't know how much a proud paladin is, but it's a whole heck of a lot more than what it was before. Um, I don't need to rest. I don't want to respawn any enemies. But you don't have to. We've got plenty of Estus still. What is this guy doing? Stop running around in a circle like an idiot. Should be an item out here. Wow, there are a ton of souls of a proud paladin. This is crazy. Ah. 
Oh god. There we go. Chug up. I'm gonna just run up and kill the the chaos one. Okay, I got him. Fire bombs. Let me go ahead and go and get the crystal lizard. No, dang it. Come here. Come here! There we go. Raw gem. Large soul of a proud... <laughs> keep finding these large souls of a proud paladin. It's like that's what everything is. I still hate archers with a passion. Fire bombs. Finding plenty of fire bombs at the sur in the early areas. Think this is another soul. Nope. Black black fire bombs. I got another knight in here somewhere. Undead hunter charms. Deserter trousers. Titanite Shard. But this... Oh god. I gotta fight you in here. Okay. Can't spam that anymore. Ah, damn it. But this character is gonna be leveled up. It's not a PvP character. And it's not really a co oping character. It's just my character. So... There's not going to be a whole lot of like, let me stay at this level. This is just the this is the one that's just getting leveled up because I want to test stuff on this character probably. So I need it to be high level so it can use mostly everything. That's the goal with this character. But so you'll see me leveling this character up far past what the meta is at 120 right now. I'm already at like 104, so it's I'm not too far away from actually. Leveling up past the meta. But the meta at 120, you can actually go above 120 and still be in the meta with the percentages and all of that different stuff. The different, the skill, or the, I don't know how to say it, the like skill based matchmaking that they have now. I guess is what I'm trying to say. You, I don't think, yeah, that's not Mimic. How did I miss that? I think I'm just gonna run down there and grab my items and then run away. I don't really think I need to fight all those guys. Okay. Oh, I went into the wrong cubby hole. Titanite. Hello, fellas. That's the shard. I believe there's an item down here. There is. Cell key. I'm not gonna get that guy out of- I'm not gonna get Grey Rat just yet. Oh, you didn't die! Die! Oh, those things are actually pretty beefy. I'm gonna chug, because there's an enemy down here. Oh my gosh, I actually did that plunging attack. Rapier. Am I fighting Fatty? I think we should probably fight Fatty. Come here, Fatty. Come here. Oh, God. And you're dead. How many souls does Fatty give me? Only a thousand? What kind of crap is that? He's not even worth killing. I don't think there's an item out here. There are enemies out here. No, 
there's not an item. Alright, I think we got all the items here on the base level. Picked up the embers. They do do a good job giving you some embers at the beginning of the game that you can, I guess, waste, because that's probably what happens with new players, is you end up wasting them, but you have some so you can get used to the game. It's kind of a nice thing that they did. Large soul of a proud paladin. Ring of Sacrifice. Could use that, especially since I'm going to be running around with a bunch of souls. Should probably have that equipped. Or not equipped, but I should have that available. Soul of a Proud Paladin. This is ridiculous. There's just a ton of souls of a Proud Paladin around here. Okay, forget these knights, dude. Lucerne. I think there's an item up here. Isn't there an ember up here that he's guarding? Actually, no, there's not. Okay, I think their de aggro range is right at this door. I don't think they're allowed to actually come in here. I kind of want to kill her and fight Dancer right now, but I don't. I, I won't. I'll just not do it now. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their churning homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Thank you. Unkindled one. Head go okay. up the vine. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, you can kill her if you want to get the dancer to spawn extremely early. Um, I'm gonna choose not to do it. We'll just go through the game as normal. Why are there like three of you guys now? F you. Is there an item over here? Nope. Damn it. Oh, God. Aggroing the world! Hurry up, hurry up, chug, chug, go! Alright, Vort. Hopefully I don't get killed by Vort. I only got 8 healing, so Vort could give me some issues. I would like to think I'd be able to beat the second boss in the game, but that's not necessarily guaranteed. Because I think Vort could be a bitch. I actually haven't fought him in for ridiculously ever. So. All I remember is I gotta stay like under his ass. Alright Vort, let's do this. I don't do a lot of damage. I don't do a lot of damage, but he's not really that hard to not get hit by. Oh, he hit me with that. Wow, he does no damage to me. Get my stamina back. Come here, Ford. Oh god. He gets this like aggressive charging phase. God. Ford. I'm gonna get frosted. Doesn't even matter. Die, Ford. Not like helmet on. Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. How many souls does Vort give us? Oh, 20. Well, that's actually pretty crap. Thanks for nothing, Vort. Where's my bonfire? Oh, there it is. Let me go ahead and rest. 
And let's go raise the banner, and then we could call it an episode. I actually accomplished a decent chunk in this episode. We actually started. We actually started the game, killed the train or the yeah the tra what is it called the intro boss I guess the training area. Um, we killed him, and then we killed Fort. All in one episode. Not bad. I need to go let Grey Rat out of his cell, so I guess let's get, we'll go do that really quick after after this happens. I love this. Such a great flashback to Dark Souls One. I love the flashbacks. Like Dark Souls Two was my favorite to play personally. But to watch and all the lore and stuff like that, Dark Souls 1 was my favorite. Um, I watched a ton of different playthroughs of Dark Souls 1 and all that different stuff. But personally for me, I just enjoyed Dark Souls 2 more for whatever reason. Um, probably because I got Dark Souls 2 at release and I didn't get Dark Souls 1 at release. Alright, bonfire lit. I guess we'll pop those souls in this episode. Er, yeah, in this episode. Just so I can see exactly how much they are worth. But I'm actually excited about the two playthroughs that I'm doing right now. Both Vort here and the just let's have extreme a bunch of fun playthrough. The fun run. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to do both. The Quantum Break playthrough is just going to go out as I play the game. Um, I'm not going to try to make that a daily thing or anything. It's just going to be when it comes out, it comes out. I, I don't have like a set schedule for that thing. Um, I don't even know when the next time I'll record. I had a bunch of recorded before. I recorded the Monday before Dark Souls 3 came out. I actually had a bunch of time to record. So I recorded a bunch of episodes of it, but I haven't touched Quantum Break since. But that, let's play, that playthrough will get finished eventually. I miss an item back here. Titanite Shard. I actually need those so I don't have to buy them because I ran out of Titanite Shards leveling other stuff up. I have a ton of chunks and large Titanite Shards, I just don't have a lot of regulars. Down here. Fall off the ladder. Alright, come here. What are you doing? Come on. And you're dead, because I'm going to stun lock you. I actually like this Artorias sword. I didn't think it, I'd like it that much, but I actually do. Yeah, throw your firebomb. I, oh, I killed you before you can even throw it. Okay, throwing knives nice. Okay, we've got enemy here. I hear a mail breaker. Throwing knife. There's no item here. Alright, let's let Grey Rat out. Ah. Oh. You no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please. Give her this ring? I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and I'll do mine. 
blue tear stone ring and there goes gray rat uh let's go ahead and um pop these souls i kind of want to see what they're worth uh, i guess we can use these or 250. i don't feel like doing math it's early i just got up let me just use one of these only five five hundred never mind i thought these would be worth a lot more than 500. Well, whoopee, 3,000. So this is probably like a thousand souls. Uh, yep, they're a thousand souls each. Alright, so that's some crap, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you guys next time where we'll be continuing the Artorias of the Best Cosplay. So peace out!